When designing or expanding an indoor cultivation facility, a key consideration is climate control. Outside of real estate, this is usually the single largest capital expenditure that a cultivator will make. Think of climate control as the brain of your operation. A hydronic cooling system offers many benefits, making it an ideal fit for facilities of all sizes and for cultivators interested in energy efficiency and water conservation. With a dry cooler, cultivators in colder environments can save significant energy by relying on ambient conditions to cool their facility without introducing outside air. The hydronic cooling method lowers room temperature by using chilled water as a heat exchange medium. This is a closed loop system that circulates cool water into a cultivation room when the temperature reaches a certain threshold. A hydronic cooling system monitors temperature fluctuation closely and brings chilled water into heat exchanger units in each room and then sends that water back to a chiller or water cooler outside the facility. In CERNA's hydronic cooling system, fan coils offer true dehumidification benefits. They're designed with a high latent capacity giving you, the cultivator, more control over the nuances of your operation. When humidity is too high, plants are unable to cycle water back into the air and nutrient metabolization suffers. Hydronic cooling addresses this fundamental issue carefully and precisely. The vapor pressure deficit, or VPD, is a critical measure for indoor cultivators focused on relative humidity levels. Managing those ratios is very important and a hydronic cooling system provides easy manipulation of both water temperatures and fan speeds, resulting in low energy consumption for your dehumidification needs. Better yet, using a hydronic cooling system, facilities may collect all condensate produced by the process. That water can be used for irrigation. This is a very efficient system for maintaining temperatures too. The compressor engages only when water temperatures rise to a certain point, thus turning on the chillers or dry coolers and allowing the circulating process to begin anew. And because water has a higher heat capacity than air, this means you can move more heat around while consuming less transport energy than with ducted air conditioning systems. And because the very process of cannabis cultivation creates heat, the hydronic cooling system is ideal. With its closed loop structure, this system ensures separate cultivation rooms in a particular facility are addressed with precision and utmost security. CERNA's hydronic cooling system utilizes a bank of chillers that all work together to cool water. No chiller is tied to a specific room or a specific fan coil. This means that if there is a mechanical failure or a chiller needs to be shut down for maintenance, cultivation areas won't lose cooling. Other chillers in the bank will continue to service fan coils, ensuring no surprises or emergencies. To achieve easy N plus one redundancy, facilities can simply place an additional chiller on the chiller bank or slightly oversize existing units. To compare, the only way to duplicate that level of redundancy with a typical HVAC system is to put two units everywhere you need one, which is neither feasible nor affordable. A chilled water system doesn't rely on air to cool room temperatures, so cultivators can more properly seal their facilities. As Cerna explains, the ability to seal space is critical to dramatically reducing the odds of a pest or disease outbreak. Overall, a chilled water system is a great option for all cultivators. Hydronic cooling is efficient and its nuance will help you grow the healthiest plants possible.